Hello everyone and welcome to Sambhav Law. In today's session, we have a very interesting candidate with us who has secured a score of 218 inside the CVT LMPG exam of 2024 and has also qualified for BHU two-year LLM and Delhi University two-year LLM. And today he is with us to share his experience, his expertise as to how he prepared for the exam. And now when so much less time is left, like only four, five, six months are left for the exam. Now, how one should prepare for the exam here? Dave is here to basically guide us upon that and share his experience as to how things are. So basically, Dave, first I would like to welcome you to the channel. Thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. I really wanted this opportunity to be on this side of the panel and share my story. Uh, so thank you. So I'll begin with uh, introducing myself. Uh, my name is Dev Raman. Uh, I did my LLB honors from Lucknow, Lucknow University in, uh, and completed it in 2024. And I gave CUT PG in 2024 itself and scored 218 marks and has been allotted uh, Delhi University in the first allocation. And uh, I'm hoping to join this college very soon. I see. So basically, Dave, if I firstly go upon the fact that once you give the paper, CVT PG paper, so how was the paper itself? And while you were giving the paper, what were the things that were going inside your head while you were seeing the paper? And how was the whole thing accordingly? Uh, so basically, I had uh, previously analyzed the past year papers of CVT PG. So I had in my mind that the paper is not, uh, overall, the paper is not so. Uh, a basic uh, understanding of the subjects can uh, sail you through the paper very easily. Uh, so uh, while analyzing the paper uh, in the real uh, exam itself, I had in a mind that the questions will not be so tough. But yeah, it, uh, I can say that in this year, the paper was a little tricky. Some questions were a little tricky, but uh, maximum questions were easy also. And uh, many questions were repeated from the last year also. So there was not the paper was not so tough overall. I see. And they like the first question that comes to anybody's mind, kisi ki mein bhi question aata hai, ki CVT PG ke andar, the number of subjects, jaise 30, 30, 30 subjects aate hai, aapke se, us ko particularly insaan kis tarikhe se tackle kare, kaise balance kare while preparing for the exam? Uh, uh, the key to balance, I would say that first analyze previous year paper, it is a key because uh, analyzing key, previous year paper for any exam is a is a must for uh, for, for cracking uh, the exam itself. So when I uh, started preparing for it, I had uh, analyzed the previous year papers two to three times. So uh, after analyzing, I realized that a major part of the exam uh, that appeared in the questions uh, were from the from very from from very selected few subjects. Like they were not very few, but uh, like ten to fifteen subjects were really very important. So I, when I pre started preparing, I divided it in like three parts. Uh, that was that was like first very uh, important subjects, then a moderate, and uh, the last one was uh, like was not so much of importance, and they were really very tough, like for Banking Regulation Act and Income Tax Act, Companies Act, that we as a general do not study uh, so much in our law school journey. So I started preparing uh, first uh, the most important question uh, subjects, and then I set switch to uh, moderate and then uh, uh, when the uh, very few days were left for the exam, then I just uh, st started reading uh, from just uh, word words I view from the uh, like uh, very basic uh, from the uh, YouTube or just just solve those questions from the from those tough subjects I I found that tough from. I see. And if I come to the fact, Dave, that uh, as we as you already sold that you basically divided the subjects into three portions. The most important subjects, less important and least important. That is basically how you went with this whole strategy. Now, if I come to the fact that you cannot be certain as to, you know, this particular subject might have a more weightage, this subject might have less weightage. Yes. So how do you basically overcome that particular scenario? If you have this fear in your mind, if I talk about that. Uh, but when I say that I did not uh, study so much well the other subjects i did not mean that i did not study at all i had that i uh, read bear act two to three times and i uh, specifically made a notebook of cutpg separately where i had all the important questions i felt that was that was important for the exam and which were which i would uh, revise at the uh, like last moment revision would help that would help me so uh, uh, like uh, companies act for that like a simple companies act I read the uh, first day I read the index. So uh, the chapters which I found important, I uh, just mentioned those chapters and important sections. So
so you can go this with every subjects so even the most uh, tough subject you find uh, uh, a person find stuff can uh, approach that subject in a way uh, that makes it easier for it to approach so uh, if uh, you know you, uh, you can't leave uh, any subjects uh, for like for paper like cut pg which, which has so diverse syllabus so you can have a st smart strategy to solve to to cover all your syllabus so that's why that's what i have done that i uh, f uh, analyze the index i wrote the important questions which i felt was important for the exam and uh, and I, as i said that uh, analyzing past year papers i i had in my mind that uh, from these uh, basic uh, from these areas ex uh, questions can be framed so uh, in having that in my mind i just studied for the uh, for every subjects i see and now Dave, if i talk about the fact that now we see only four five six months are remaining for the exam and if a person is not thinking of preparing for the exam itself what do you think should be the strategy going forward for that particular person Oh, so the so the basic two basic things has to be done for any uh, for, uh, for, uh, for any CUTPG aspirant. First, uh, even there is, if there is so much left uh, uh, less time is left, but uh, first analyze the paper and uh, start from the uh, core subjects like uh, start from criminal law and start from uh, constitutional law. Do not go in so much depth, but uh, first uh, uh, learn the chapter name. Uh, important section section name would be enough for the uh, pay, uh, for cracking this exam but uh, you cannot do this with every subject but yeah most of the subject will be dealt by this method and uh, if you are you if you uh, and most of the subjects would uh, already be covered in your law school that is presumed and so uh, um, so very less subject would be left that uh, one would have no knowledge about so i think uh, even if uh, so much uh, less time is left, but still uh, one has to kind of make a uh, strategy according to his own uh, benefit and uh, work accordingly, I guess. I see. I see. So if I like uh, go to my question that see, Dave, what happens is that once only four, five or six months are remaining for the exam, you know, this is, this is happening. The panic starts to happen when we know that there are certain students who had studied their four subjects while there was COVID. Then what happens is that there are certain people who did not have a business law honors in their particular time in their college. They don't have a very good idea as to how business law, you know, the diverse fields work. Some have, do not have a depth of criminal law. So considering all those factors that there are a lot of students who are not well prepared, who have not studied well during their college, what advice would you give to these type of, you know, students? What would you say for them? Uh, the uh, I would say that first uh, analyze the uh, the syllabus and go uh, stick to the syllabus. Do not go, uh, mother. Do not uh, deviate from the syllabus itself. The syllabus is so vast and uh, it covers everything that is required for you to study uh, a particular subject. So, uh, like for my preparation, YouTube. I I uh, th thoroughly. Uh, like a uh, search on youtube uh, a particular topic which i uh, find find it difficult to understand like uh, specific relief act and uh, like partnership act i had not studied it in my uh, college days so like uh, there are various videos uh, uh, in which the whole act is covered in less than 3 or 4 hours so in in 2x speed i i just watched those videos and uh, chalked out the or the important uh, uh, things I found it uh, important for the exam. So this strategy can really help a uh, person who, uh, to cover most of the syllabus in, in less, is in less uh, time uh, or very much less time, but it still it is a most effective method uh, one can adopt. I see. And Dave, if I talk about uh, like when you were practicing for the exam itself, you had prepared a lot. Now when it comes to mock papers and question practice and all, what do you think is the importance of that particular scenario in this world? Like exam. Yes, mock papers are very very essential for exams like this. Uh, because one or two is uh is allotted to each subject from from the exam. So you cannot be very certain as to what question from particular question. So mock uh does helps a lot because uh you know because the teachers who make the mock are so experienced and they 
cover all those topics which you find uh, that it is not so important but they might appear in the uh, in the exam in the real exam mm-hmm. so they help you to solve those uh, those uh, questions and help you analyze where you really stand and uh, and obviously it it gives you a variety of questions to uh, to have a think on about ajay dev if i come to my next question now we see that you while you were giving the exam you also applied for delhi university you applied for banaras hindu university now the question that comes into one's student's mind is that you know which college is better for particular my particular case is it delhi university is it better or is it bhu this is better so how would you like to guide a student who is basically in this sort of a dilemma in the future when they are you know choosing between delhi and banaras hindu university what would you say and because uh, from my experience i feel that uh, from academic session uh, academic uh, curriculum both are uh, equal almost equal do you uh, delhi university and bhu both are uh, very good and they both are equal from academic point of view but i think uh, a person chooses delhi over De- uh, bhu for sole reason that uh, du offers more uh, other than academic opportunities it offers more uh, more opportunities for like if uh, if one has to do uh, coaching uh, for for judiciary or if one has to do internships or if one has to do like uh, for prepare for other exam uh, delhi is hub for every everything related to law so i feel uh, if one if one is in a dilemma as to what one should choose and if if that person is not from area uh, around banaras so one should uh, definitely choose delhi over bhu because it will offer uh, tons of uh, benefit other than just uh, academic benefits i understand i guess acha apart from that dev uh, if i come to my last question like if there is a student who is preparing for this exam and they are feeling a bit demotivated you know as to how i would be able to crack this exam or this or that what message would you like to say to those students who are basically in this sort of a dilemma uh i too had this dilemma while preparing for this uh, exam sometimes i felt very uh, very uh, depressed depressed as to uh, whether i would be able to crack this exam because because due to the very limited number of seats in that in those particular colleges but always i had in a mind that i am preparing then i will see the result and i already uh, I always had in a mind and i have to prepare in a way that i get all india rank 1 so but uh, i i attempted the pre- paper i was so confident that i will do better because i have studied so i i would uh, say that uh, do uh, do your best while your preparation and leave the rest for the paper because uh, for sure you can be for one uh, one you can be sure of one fact that the paper will not be so tough you have there will be some sub questions that uh, everyone will not be knowing so you have you do not have to panic you just need to study uh, the basics uh, basic of every Uh, uh every laws and believe in yourself that you can do it because uh if you really believe that you can do it you will definitely be able to do that i see acha dev i think that uh, the things that you have told in this session regarding the preparation and all will be really beneficial for the students who are basically watching the session and i once again thank you very much for giving us your time and you know sharing your experience as to how you prepared for this paper and how this whole journey went thank you very much